Welcome, welcome back on my channel today again with Roland Verslap MV1. This time I would like to present some uh, motion recording and effects, how to use them in a nice way, a more efficient way, and basically present whole potential of it because Verslap has tons of effects, over 90, and to utilize them all to make sense of it is a little bit tricky because you have to dive really deep to get to the bottom of, of what it can do. So thanks, thankfully uh, Roland uh, gave us integration with Zenbeats, so we can use tablet or PC or even smartphone to get to effects. But me personally, I prefer to uh, use it as a standalone and use PC just for master, uh, mix and master, mostly master for compressor, uh, some, maybe some MFX and all that stuff. And yeah, let's go through this uh, step by step. So we're going to start new project and I will make maybe two sections with uh, some patterns, some some sounds. Uh, also, I don't know why Verslap is so overlooked by many, maybe because of name Verslap, like for singers, that, that's how it was presented and introduced to public, not as a like, groove box by itself like mpc for for chopping uh, it's not the best for chop chops as well but hopefully roland please give us some maybe app for a visual presentation of chops if you could integrate it with with presets patterns and effects i think it would be possible i might be wrong but that's my hope so Let's start with instrument number one. I just show you how, how quickly you can lay things down and uh, what it, it can do. Uh, also, I own Electron, Digitact and Digiton. And like with comparison to, to those devices, I used, used them combined mostly. Uh, start on electron devices is very slow you can get to uh, programming fast if you know shortcuts and everything else but here you have everything laid down with with this workflow presented it's also very easy to start pattern i also like to for example lay down some kicks lay, lay down some snare pick a bass and practice maybe recorded something on the loop tracker and start idea from there but today we, we focus on motion recording. So let's, re let's speed it up a little bit. 96, why not? Like this. That's a one. Kick. Snare. Base. was slappy no it wasn't because it's on track kit is presents every part on on different uh, steep se step sequencer so that was my my fault a little bit confusion So 
so we have basic pattern made of those tracks now i want to put some uh motion effects so i can do it on on few different ways i can uh motion design so i will do it maybe for this track let's make a, another copy of this section as a backup so i don't have to save it i just have a backup of this section if i mess up i st still have a point of reference that's my workflow in many cases it uh, thankfully it don't crash that often it happens maybe a few times till, till the entire uh, carrier on of of this device in my studio so uh, let's go to second we're grooving a little bit nice let's go to sequence uh, snare we're gonna make a shuffle shuffle as well slight I don't like to overdo things mm -hmm. so on this on this section for example let's make it gradually volume up motion design and I have options here square so arc square sine cosine and random so for making it like for one bar I want to volume go up so it will increase uh, with new update we had also fade fade out at the end of song and for this one just for this section I want to increase instrument one will, will go up so I'm going to use arc mm -hmm. step length I will go with 16 so we'll go over entire pattern Minimum value zero, that will be zero for volume and 20, 127 for max volume. And to knob number four, no, knob number four, four was added also with the latest update, control four. I'm going to use control four because I won't edit it later. With other uh, knobs, I would be able to nudge it according to my, my, my liking. So we have it assigned now I just need to assign knob number four for volume because at this point I, I don't even know what it is so it was reverb sent with shift and edit I have con access to control four I'm going to set it to level ah my bad my bad because I didn't didn't acknowledge it so let's go through it again control exact I didn't exact it with sh just shift and control I have access to parameters which which knob corresponds to which function and shift edit I have access to control 4 but control 4 I can only edit I just can can't just preview it something's wrong level yes now so let's mute everything else it was before track Instrument 2 and kit confuse me a little bit. As you see, volume goes gradually. And now I want to like pan, snare left and right. Just pan, pan it. I will go with, instead of motion uh, design, this time I will just add it, edit it as it is. So I will first set it control one, for example, to pan. We have a pan 
and I will hit this one and I have access to all controls. So I will set this one to, to the left, that will be zero. And this one, one, 27, that will be right. Simple. And I could edit even somewhere on the, in the middle. If I press this one and use controls, you see that's in motion already. But there's no there's no trick in electron terms. There is no trick in there. I already like it. So I would like I could show some tricks with like con uh, creating arpeggios just on kit tracks by pitching up and down uh, particular paths and uh, like panning them and then just using motion sequence for for uh, pitching it up or down or creating shifts everything that that's for next video so we have this sequence for example it's going like this Or maybe on this one instrument, I will just clear it out. So I don't need it anymore. As you see, it starts to make shape. And uh, let's go to what I want to do next. Let's go to kick. Oh no, to this one. I will copy section, entire section. And here I will apply some maybe M effects for, for the sound for this one. Why not? So we are in section. Let's go to M effects. That's a space D. Fast. Why not fast? drive tone don't want to go too loud level so we have everything here mm, I will have to edit Let's switch on, type fast drive, OK. And uh, uh, tone setting, resonance level. And I will lower, lower le level a little bit. So with, it's with applied effect, but a little bit lower because I can edit it for each clip. already uh, like a little bit tonally different fast uh, I could use different example but that's that just uh, is just an example and for for those effects I can assign them to control so that will be control tree and I have options drive and tone so Control three is set to tone and I can motion record it in, record it in a real life. So let's set it to 50 and record it. And if you take a look at effects, control three, this section was motion recorded. That's how easy it is. So maybe I want to apply some reverb, reverb just on few bits of this section. So let's set control to release decay, okay, resonance, or maybe cutoff. 
maybe cut off why not that will that will be resonance and that will be cut off or course tune why not course tune and I will record it live I can switch it on and off so that that's how easy it is and maybe let's add some effects to kick as well so we have multi effects on kick and that's uh, what we have we have sat saturator and I want to add some saturation to section of the, of the kick. Let's go maybe control one because for each track we have separate control. So we have options, four options for motion recordings. They're like LFOs. And uh, let's go sat saturation drive. So. nice so we go in zero drive zero let's go again clear motion edit motion design clear controller control one and record it again so we are we are at zero let's make let's go to extreme with this one And here we're gonna drop normal, maybe kick somewhere. Let's say, let's set cut off for control. Mm, which one was it? Tone. I don't want a tone, I, you can't hear it anyway. Too much, so let's add it to cut off. Mm. cut off okay and we're gonna use cut off here and maybe here If I hold this button and move it, you can see that some of them are uh, brighter, some of them are darker. It depends on the motion sequence. So we have nice track already. Let's mix it up a little bit. Mm. On this one level, lower as well.
that would be it. Short video this time, just few few uh, tricks how you can use it. Motion recorded. And maybe I will change, why not? Effect on this one, oh, it was already changed, so... On snare. I can put some compression uh, EQ for it, everything else. Or maybe not. Let's use different effect, edit mixer, MFX. And uh, let's play a little bit Polyan Tracker style. Where is DJ effect? This one is nice. This one is nice. Crunchy. noisy I can adjust it overdrive distortion compressor limiter sustainer compressor BPM looper this one One is straight from SP4 on 4, 404. My another complaint, not the, yeah, the, the, it is complaint. I have an issue with uh, input effects. Why there's no input effects? When I have to, I have to uh, like uh, stem it to DAW, to use it on on input to use it with effects from for other instruments otherwise I can just uh, record it with already effect applied I have to use master effect to preview it and then record it dry and after that I can apply the same effect if I remember what it was that's my issue I don't know if it's just me have anyone else notice it Phonograph is good as well. Tons of options for phonograph, very good uh, recreation. These are some hardcore effects, but I like them, they're very gritty, like hot. JD Multi 
it is already sounds much more beefy that's how easy it is actually I don't know if any, any other brand can compete with Roland sound design at this at this point uh, maybe I'm just nostalgic or or something I like cork as well electron poly and that's a big brand with heritage with tradition but still Roland with Integra 7 with effects and everything else is like yeah can't compete at this point that's for snare pitch bend reverb let's use some reverb as well why not That will be it for this video I don't want to extend it just me playing and toying with it so uh, hope you like it I have idea for another one and then I will move probably to poly and stuff or even maybe go back to electron just for a few videos for presentations for this one that would be that will be it thanks for watching see you next time